viewers in today's class we are going to discuss one important application of lagrange's mean value theorem right so here i uh, will prove this inequality with the help of uh, lagrange's mean value theorem and the inequality is log of 1 plus x is less than x plus x square over 2 for all x greater than 0 right so viewers uh, lagrange's mean value theorem is a very important theorem in differential calculus right and it has many uh, applications and uh, one of the application of lagrange's mean value theorem is to prove uh, some important inequalities right so these inequalities can also be proved by some other methods but here we can uh, we can uh, prove these inequalities uh, with the help of uh, Lagrange's mean value theorem right so let us start so now to prove this inequality uh, let us first assume uh, an appropriate function right so here uh, what we will do uh, we'll uh, take a function say y is equal to f of x is equal to a uh, log of uh, 1 plus x plus x square over 2 right so here i uh, will assume uh, this function right and moreover here uh, this log is the natural log right so the base of uh, this logarithm is uh, e which is the exponential uh, number right so uh, we'll prove this inequality uh, for all x greater than 0 and here I uh, will take an interval uh, that is uh, 0 to x where x is uh, greater than 0 right okay so now we have a function and we have an interval from 0 to x where x is greater than uh, 0 right now we'll see uh, whether this function uh, satisfies the conditions of Lagrange's mean value theorem right so the first condition of uh, uh, Lagrange's mean value theorem is that this function fx has to be continuous in this interval, right? So here uh, we see that uh, this function is a sum of two functions, right? So the first function is the log function that is uh, log of 1 plus x and this function is continuous, right? For all x greater than 0, right? And the second function is a quadratic function or the uh, polynomial function, right? So, this function is also a continuous function uh, in uh, x greater than 0, right? So, fx is a sum of two continuous functions. So, the sum of two continuous functions is also a continuous function, right? So, fx is continuous for all x greater than 0 or we can write the interval as 0 to x right okay now the second condition is that this function uh, should be differentiable in the interval 0 comma x right so if we find the derivative of f of x with respect to x then f prime of x can be written as the derivative of log 1 plus x is 1 over 1 plus x right and the derivative of x square over 2 is half and the derivative of x square is 2x this 2 and this 2 get cancelled and we are left with 1 over uh, 1 plus x plus x right and we uh, we can see that uh, f of x is a differentiable function uh, in the interval or in the open interval 0 to x right so we can now write fx is uh, differentiable or derivable in uh, 0 to x right so the first two conditions of lagrange's mean value theorem are satisfied by this function f of x right so f of x is continuous and differentiable right so Lagrange's mean value theorem says that uh, once a function is continuous and differentiable in the given interval then there must exist some point x is equal to c which belongs to this interval uh, 0 to x right 
or we can write as c is greater than 0 and less than x right so it implies that c must lie between 0 and x where the condition is x greater than 0 right and this point uh, x is equal to c must be such that the derivative of f of x at x is equal to c that is f prime of c must be equal to f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a right where we have the interval a comma b and in this case this is uh, 0 comma x right so a is 0 and b is x right so now we can write f prime of c can be obtained uh, from this expression by taking x is equal to c so we have 1 over 1 plus c plus c is equal to f of b is f of x minus f of a is f of 0 and divided by x minus 0 right and f of x can be directly written from here so we have log of 1 plus x plus x square over 2 this is f of x minus f of 0 can be obtained from uh, taking x is equal to 0 here so we have log of uh, 1 plus 0 that is log of 1 then we have plus 0 square over 2 is 0 right and in the denominator we have x minus 0 right so now we can write uh, this expression as 1 over 1 plus c plus c is equal to log of 1 plus x plus x square over 2 and log of 1 is obviously equal to 0 and in the denominator we have x right so now uh, we have obtained this expression right and this expression uh, will be utilized uh, to arrive at this inequality right so now uh, to move further uh, what we will do right see uh, here we have this term that is 1 plus c right and 1 plus c is obviously greater than a 1 right because uh, see uh, here this uh, number c it lies between 0 and x and x is greater than 0 so obviously c is greater than 0 and when c is added to 1 then 1 plus c term uh, is obviously greater than uh, 1 right okay so now if we take the reciprocal of both sides we will get 1 over 1 plus c and the direction of the inequality get reversed so here we will have 1 over 1 plus c is less than 1 right okay now see here we have the term c now c is a positive number so if we add c to both sides see what we will get we will get 1 over 1 plus c plus c is less than 1 plus c right okay so now we can take it as inequality number 2 right okay now let us take uh, this one right see uh, 0 uh, is less than c and c is less than x here and now if we add 1 throughout then what we will get we'll get 1 0 plus 1 here we'll get c plus 1 here we will get x plus 1 right okay now see here we have 1 less than c plus 1 and less than x plus 1 let us take this inequality as inequality number 3 right so now let us merge uh, inequality number 2 and inequality number 3 right see here we have from inequality number 2 we have 1 over 1 plus c plus c is less than 1 plus c right and from inequality number 3 we see that uh, c plus 1 or 1 plus c is less than x plus 1 right so here we can now write uh, x plus 1 right so c plus 1 is less than x plus 1 right so now we can uh, merge uh, 
or we can take uh, these two expressions right so we have 1 over 1 plus c plus c is less than x plus 1 right and 1 over 1 plus c plus c is equal to uh, this expression so now we can replace this uh, expression by uh, this one right so we have a log of uh, 1 plus x plus x square over 2 uh, divided by x is less than x plus 1 right okay now see uh, we have x greater than 0 right so we have x greater than 0 so we can now safely multiply both sides of this inequality by x uh, without altering the direction of the inequality right so when we multiply both sides by x this x uh, will get cancelled and we are left with the log of 1 plus x plus x square over 2 and here we have uh, x times x is x square and then we have plus x right and now we can take x square over 2 to the uh, right hand side so we have log of 1 plus x is less than uh, x square plus x minus x square over 2 right and if we subtract x square over 2 from x square uh, we'll get uh, log of 1 plus x is less than uh, x plus x square over 2 right so x square minus x square over 2 is x square over 2 right and this is our uh, desired inequality which was to be proved right so this is for all x greater than 0 right so viewers this is how by applying uh, Lagrange's mean value theorem uh, we can uh, prove uh, this inequality.